Hello, good morning. Out here in the garden again in Grimsby and it's a Friday morning. About 10 o'clock, half past 10, something like that. And we've got lots of people working in the garden today. We've got Richard here. Hello, Richard. Hiya. Richard's doing lots of sweeping up for us and he's doing a fantastic job there. Anyway, let's have a walk down here. We've had a few people in buying plants today. As you can see, all the way up and down here now we've got hundreds and hundreds of plants. We've got Christine there putting some labels on for us and we've got Mark and Trevor there making us some more tables because as you can see we've already filled all these tables up here. Getting the right benchmark. Mr. what sorry? Getting the right benchmark. Right. <laughs> He's put, been putting wheels on the bottom of these benches as well look. All made out of scaffolding boards and pallets. Thank you very much Trevor. It's looking good. Thank you, Mark. So, we'll see who else is here in the garden. And all these people that's come in this morning, I think there's about six or seven of us, maybe eight even, uh, they've all come in to volunteer. They've all come in because they really like the atmosphere here in the garden. Just let me show you this lot. Sharon's got me some more straw this morning. And you can see all these first early potatoes in their buckets. Now they're nearly ready for harvesting. And you can also see on here, look, let me just show you this. We can see the figs starting to ripen. Let's hope we still have some of them by midsummer. I hope the birds don't get them all. Anyway, it's all right, Christine, the camera's pointing at me. So we come over here and we've got Kevin. Now, Kevin's been doing lots of painting for us all around the garden. Is that your favorite job in the garden, Kev? papering and sandpapering and it, as you can see this bench here let me show you it's all covered in this green rime and as soon as it rains that all gets a bit slimy and a bit slippery so Kevin here look is sanding them down and then next week he can paint them thank you very much Kevin and we'll walk along over here all the canners that we overwintered let me show you them so last last winter lots and lots of canners we managed to overwinter in them and we've got them all in much bigger pots now. The daffs and the uh, tulips are still looking good over there. But if we come through the tunnel, and we've got Christine there, but I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to point the camera at her at all. Anyway, and over here we've got Liz and Beryl. So you can see on these tables in the tunnel now. Every one of them is packed out now. We've got 14 tables here, each one of them with at least 400 plants on a table. We've still got a few modular trays to go. Uh, I don't know if you remember early on in the year, uh, early on in the year, actually, it was only a month ago, the end of March, beginning of uh, April, when we had 160 of these seed trays. Now we've since added more and more of them, but you can see now there's about 15 left not so many now and not so many of these modular trays left now so very soon we're going to be starting potting things on into larger pots good morning ladies are you okay there beryl okay. are you uh, racing with liz this morning again yeah i'm gonna get us all set up for our little factory fantastic and what have you got there lots of little sarka cocker that was brought in yeah, yesterday potting them on Potting them on. Thank you very much, Thank ladies. You want some more muck? Well, give us a second and I'll get you some more muck, Bill. We'll just come out here and I'll just show you this vegetable garden, show you how this is coming along. Lots of oh, lots of weeds there. But the thing is, I can't hoe this patch because this is where the asparagus grows. So, once the asparagus is finished, then we'll be able to maybe skim over very lightly with a hoe, but I'd rather do it by hand. So let me show you this bit here, look. Potatoes, all earthed up. That one could do with another earthing up, I think, tonight before I go home. Uh, the two rows of chard there need thinning out, but I haven't seen any sign yet of these carrots coming up in here. And in here as well. So it might be that the carrots haven't... Oh, no, there's some, look. Those little bits there. Anyway, the beetroot's doing fine parsnips are doing fine and uh, next couple of days we'll put some bean poles up on this bit here so anyway from me out here in the garden I hope you all have a lovely day 
get out and get some fresh air if you can do. Get some of this green stuff around you. Bye.